No, you didn't want it. That's it. Blue Light exclusive, trenchless, <laughs> perma liner using LED lights. Well, good morning, or good, good evening, a long day. Good evening, everybody. Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, demonstrate our blue light system uh, that we just released at the wet show back in uh, February, and we have Joe Aiden and. Rain. Uh, here, helping along, along with Matt. And uh, what they're going to do, they preloaded this liner. The blue light liner, uh, the process, uses a high frequency light. It's not UV. It's in, like, figure out a rainbow, it's in uh, purple to blue light spectrum. So that's where this light is, is giving off that those waves or whatever to cure this. Um, one of the problems with lining using epoxies or resins of any other sort was once you mix that two-part epoxy, your stopwatch started. You better get it wet out in that liner, in the drum, and shot down the line. With the blue light, they actually wetted this liner out, what? Last Friday. And we just threw it in a tub, had it in the van, sitting in the van all week. Uh, or 80 some 90 million air it does they not affect it. Friday. it's still pliable we loaded be it up hard as a rock. the only thing you got to do is protect it from light uh sunlight it'd be it's hard as a wide. rock you know, if this is a regular permaliner our Mix drum those resins itself together. Has, basically if you can see joe's glasses there they're uh, like an orange glass it, it protects it from that frequency of, of light and the windows on the drum are also made and have that tin on it as well. So the sunlight help, helps protect it. Because if you leave a piece of this indirect sunlight, it'll cure in what, 10 minutes? Uh, 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. <laughs> wow. So, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot this through here. Uh, we're gonna have uh, the light system We'll shoot it down. We have this Y so the, the light train can come down through there. I will put it down there. The computer, uh, once you have your diameter, your length, and your uh, I gotta get thickness for your liner, you plug that in, and the motor right here will automatically me, pull me, back me. the light head at the correct speed to, to uh, cure the liner. And for four inch, three and a half mil, uh, you're looking at probably uh, up to five and a half foot a minute cure time. So this little 20 foot section or 15 foot section will probably take about three minutes for it to completely cure. And then because it doesn't cure with light, if you have an issue trying to blow it going around 90s or 45 or something like that, you don't have that worry that you're gonna lose that liner, you're gonna lose that resin. If it gets stuck in there, you can't pull it back out. You've got all the time in the world. I mean, if something happens or whatever, you can go make yourself a pot of coffee, go drink it, you get a fix, and then continue on. It will not cure until it sees that light. So right now they're inverting it through the system. And the reason we have on these little uh, protective coverings is just to protect your eyes from that blue light. You'll be able to see it, but uh, we don't want to look directly at it. You can see that last Friday or whatever, and it's still liquid. So they're done inverting it. Yeah, took you long enough. <laughs> right? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he just didn't want to splatter them with resin over there. <laughs> yeah. I know what happened last year. <laughs> Built into the head of this uh, light train is a camera, so if you ever get a chance to move back here, you'll be able to see the light and the, uh, the camera as it's stirring. As it there is a camera. Right now, he's showing you can see the light. 
Coming up to it. Keep going. We're good. We're at the back side of the tail. Ready for the air switch? Yeah, you want to get on that one? That is sick. Fucking baddest liner I've ever seen in my life. Error is also going through this tower. It's not as good as the tower. Turn it on. Oh, this thing's going to the computer and the computer will take over and pull it back at the right speed. And then the only thing that's going to do is wipe down the, uh, the hose and put it back in the real thing. Not there. Whatever it is, we're going to be coming back to the gauge on here so we will not to keep the pressure up to keep it in place of as you're going there. If you're all the Control the motor? Yeah. So the controller to the whole device is right here. This controls the motor. Spectacular. You're pulling the light out right now? Yeah, and driving itself back through the metal turn motor wheels right now. And after it passes, it's cured, 100%. You are correct. That is badass. When it comes through the red, throw these glasses on back where Atlanta, and you'll see how these glasses block out that blue light spectrum. Truly amazing. I've shot hundreds upon hundreds of liners. I've never seen a cure time like this. It's blowing my mind, literally. Typically, two to four hours cure time. On a, a water system liner, an hour. This is minutes. Past this point, totally cured. That is insane. This is the camera reel and light reel that is curing this liner at the same time. Now you got peanut oil, that's why you're... Using mineral oil. Mineral oil, okay. And what does that mineral oil do for you here? Uh, it just reduces uh, inversion pressure. Uh, so it's what we use, recommend for our uh, liner lubrication. Instead of peanut oil, which would be permanent yeah, liner or stuff like that. Exactly. Right. Minerals just reduce a little bit on inversion. Also does not stain concrete or your clothing. It's easier to work with. <laughs> clothing, more important. I mean, dude, and your, your customer's property. That's insane. Exactly. Yeah. It's fun to pressure wash your driveway after you blind it. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Rock hard. It's hot. It's yeah, hot. Be careful. But that is rock hard, baby. 
That's rent to go. Hook this baby up. Get your check. <laughs> Woo! Get paid, baby. That is insane. Wow. Look at all these people. They're, they're, their mind's literally blown. Seriously. They don't know what to do them, with themselves now. Holy moly. This equipment is slick. Slick Rick. Signed, built in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Okay, so tell me this. So inside this drum, the resin is sitting? 3 what out. We went these liners out last week at Lake Mills or at Hammerhead in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. So what makes your mixture different than anybody else's to where it's not curing in seconds? Only cures in the presence of UV or LED spectrum. Wow. So why do we have a UV protectant right here? Mother Nature. Okay, got you. Have to protect it. Tarps. We have a special red tint in here that filters that red light, much like the welding blankets we use and the glasses. And the glasses. So every install technician's wearing these glasses. Yes. No questions. And that will allow them to see what's going on and not get blinded by the UV as it's coming out. Part of the PPE. Right. So the UV light comes on after you've already sent it all the way down and it's curing as the light's coming backwards. Is that correct? You are correct. All right. These dudes are dumbfounded right now. They're They're like blown away. Most impressive lining system I've ever seen. I have I've literally shot hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of liners and I've never had a cure time like that. Like we're all here and I still think this is a pretty interesting video. On a normal liner I would not film it because it's not interesting. It's boring as hell and long and exclusive. So this quick, fast, easy, this is gonna serve the best for your customers all the way around the board. Not just that. Is what do you got? You're using mineral oil for instead of coconut oil, or sorry, in, sorry, instead of peanut oil when you're shooting the liner. So if you've never done a liner, what peanut oil does will a destroy your clothes, but not only that, with, is what it'll absorb into the concrete 100%. Correct. You will never get it out. Also, you look at the veggies and the peanuts. What happens when they get hot? They get tacky. Right. So I mean, vegetable oil inside of a pressure tank with heat, it's just gonna become cake. It's gonna wow. get tacky, cake up on your spindle, and your gaskets, and your bearings. Mineral oil is a clean product. Yep. Badass shit. What do you do at the end? You like a cut and hit No more to say. That's all there is to it. This, this, we would have two access. Later, guys. So I'm out. We just go down there, saws all, cut it right off. Yeah, just attach it to the. Now, if this, if this were only one access point.